Okay, hi, Anson Garcia here with Verizon, and today we're going to start part two. Now, part two is going to be broken up into a few, let's say, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, something like that. There's just so many uh, features that I want to highlight, and I need to make this short. So um, I'll break them up a couple. I don't know how many I'll have, but hopefully um, there'll be enough just to get uh, a basic view on all the basic features in these two clients, Cisco Spark and Microsoft Teams. So let's take a look at Cisco Spark first. And today's topic is just working with files. We're just going to work with files. So working with files just means, you know, maybe editing a file online, posting a file, deleting a file, you know, kind of those things, working with files inside each client. We're going to do Cisco Spark first. And so here we go. So uh, I'm just going to pick on the pirate uh, space here. And if I want to post a file here, I'm just going to click on that little plus. I'm going to do attachment right there. And then I'm going to go down and look at uh, what files I have here. And uh, obviously, I can go, if I had one drive or, or Dropbox, I, I would have that ability to go ahead and drop in here and um, and highlight that directory too but I'm just looking at my local directory and we're going to click that Verizon PowerPoint okay and then we have the ability to kind of give a message with this so I'll say uh, this is my version one let's say and I'll hit enter there you'll see that posts and uh, you'll see Liz over here is in that channel so she immediately gets that post and gets that view of that particular presentation. So let's do, let's make this interesting and let's see what happens here. So we know that we have that, no problem. Let me go over here and let's just add, which I don't have, let's add a second page to this. How's that? Let's add a second page and uh, we'll just say test page here. All right, and we'll save that. And let's see what that looks like. All right. So we'll go back here to the client. We're going to upload again. Grab that. I added a slide. Hit enter. That posts. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and click on that. Now my viewer comes up, and hey, what do you know? I get this uh, uh, along the side here, so I can see my second page, and I can see subsequent pages as well. Um, uh, they'd all be listed here, and I can get a quick view of this presentation. Okay, so. Let's say Liz wants to edit a file or edit this file. Let's see what kind of she, she you know, the particular uh, option she has is download here. Okay, let's just go over here and make sure we don't have any options over here. So I have files here as well. There are the two files, and then I can download here as well. Okay, so we'll put that away. That's making sure that there's no other options there. So let's download. Okay, looks like it's downloaded, and I get this little folder here, show in folder. Okay, that's pretty intuitive there. And it looks like it put that in my downloads folder. All righty. Well, I'll, let me open that up, and uh, let's add a third page here. All right, so let's save that. Okay, no option to upload from here, so I just close that. I wonder if I can copy. Let's just try that. I haven't tried that before. Can I copy and paste that? No, looks like it just gives me a file location, so I can't do that. Okay, so I'm stuck with, you know, doing this. Now, I was in my documents directory before. No worries there. I just need to go to my downloads directory. And I need to upload this new one, which was that one right there. Okay. Let's put this in here. We'll do that. We'll post it. Enter there to post. 
and um, we'll go over here all right let's just open that again let's just click on it okay we get all three now that's pretty neat very intuitive there looks like I have the ability to zoom in also if I want to zoom in here it's nice I can also page right here as well and I can also looks like I can uh, download right from here and then I get that same uh, folder which I should be able to click that yep and it takes me right to there so it's pretty intuitive and pretty easy to work with okay so um, we've added a file we've posted a file edited a file and uh, reposted it and let's see I want to possibly um, the moderator Jack's the moderator here and maybe he likes this version we're gonna keep that version we're gonna make sure that no one gets these versions here so um, let me click on that okay I have no options there I can right mouse click hey I got that delete that's what I want to do right there and let's see over here can I go to files here can I look at these and can I can I right mouse click there no I can't okay so let's see let's close that let's go here let's see if I can delete yes I can okay that's great so I want everyone to use this latest file so I want to make sure and take those off the channel there or excuse me the space and make sure um, everyone's working with this latest file that um, Liz added the third page on okay so that's it for uh, uh, working with files on Cisco spark let's move over to Microsoft okay we got our Microsoft teams PCs up our office 365 users Anson and Lynn on the right hand side so let's make um, or let's do the sim uh, similar task of working with files uploading a file uh, editing a file and reposting and see what other options we have um, so let's see here in this conversation I'm in the marketing team channel I'm in the excuse me marketing team I'm in the general channel and I want to upload a file well I got that little paper clip there that's pretty intuitive for me looks like I have a recents button here <clears throat> I have the ability to look at my OneDrive right from here so that's that tight integration with back office you know no integrations need to be added here these are kind of uh, inherent or baked in the product that back uh, that back end integration into the office uh, 365 suite and OneDrive being one of them or business OneDrive and uh, I have another tab here so it looks like I can look in other Microsoft Teams or all of my Microsoft Teams uh, files that are uh, posted uh, in all my channels I assume here so I can upload one here as well so uh, I want to get make it similar to what we did in Cisco Spark upload from a local directory so I'll push that button there that takes me to my local directory there is my file that I want to post I'll open that okay this file already exists all right I'm gonna replace let's say okay and I'm going to post a message with this this is uh my new prezo let's say and then we'll hit enter there okay and that posts in my channel let's go over here looks like we have a new message in this channel and uh lynn is able to let's see what she's got some three dots over here so she's able to open in powerpoint open in powerpoint online download get a link uh, to this particular file or make this a tab so let's take a look at that first let me just click on it because that's most intuitive to me would just be to click on it to to, to view the file and um, Microsoft Teams has that as well so we bring that up and I can look at the file uh, and I don't have along the side the the uh, small thumbnails but I do have this over here so I can look through okay so that's easy enough and I got some other options over here as well so I got this edit option so I can edit in PowerPoint and I can close let's see what else I have download and open in SharePoint as well so the 
objective here was to work with this file, uh, a team working with this file. So Lynn here wants to edit this file. So she's going to go ahead and edit that file right here. And let's say I work on, uh, on my PC, so I'm going to edit that in PowerPoint. Okay, that file now open in Microsoft PowerPoint. And um, let's say, let's go ahead and add a new slide. We'll call that slide three. And we'll go ahead and save that. And I just click save. Just, um, it's just, I'm always used to going up there and, 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 and click save. So hopefully, right, that's saved to where it was supposed to save. Let's close that. Now, that's closed. Um, now, it looks like it puts me right into this reply, so I guess that's good, because I can say um, I updated this file. Okay. All right. I like that so far. See, Lynn Garcia replied, okay, so it looks like she, we have a threaded conversation on this particular file. Let me go ahead and click that file over here and see what we see. Okay, well, it looks like we have three slides now. Okay, that file has been uh, saved up online, so that makes a little more sense to me. Maybe not to some of you, but... The ability to edit on on um, on the fly like that online without downloading is a is a time saver for sure. Now it's important to know that kind of the the back end of this file structure is SharePoint, and that's why you're able to do that. And now I don't know if you can get creative back there and have different versions and versioning and things like that. That would certainly be neat, but. Uh, Let's go a little bit further with Microsoft, and uh, let's say Anson here wants to continue this thread, and there's a couple of folks that he's bringing in on the on the plan to update this particular presentation. He can, I think, go here or here somewhere, right here, and this make this a tab. So this is a feature uh, for particular file so let's see what that does if I make that a tab you can see up here that now this is a tab in this channel so we can always be in conversations in the channel but we can go th this file has its own tab now and then we can edit or people can edit this online as they want let's go over here and we see that we have that tab in this channel because because Anson created it and I can go to that channel and I can uh, maybe update that file again if I wanted to edit in PowerPoint or something like that and the other thing we could do uh, in this um, tab is to uh, turn on this guy right here show tab conversation so maybe we have some conversations that are going on about this file and so we can say Okay, so we have those kind of things over here. And let's see what's going on over here. And, well, that certainly doesn't look like what I'd like. Let's see what this is. Reload tab, maybe. Okay, that's what needed to happen. I don't like that. I would really like that to be there um, real time. But, uh, anyway, the, the concept here is to be able to uh, have a, a, a train of of threads here uh, talking about the updates and um, to this particular file. So um, one more thing, and that's deleting this file. So we delete it in Cisco Spark. Let's go ahead and delete it here. Um, let's see what we have to do to do that. I'm going to go to the moderator of this channel over here. And let's say I want to, I'm done with that file. Can I remove that? Sure, I can remove that tab and uh, maybe this channel is going to retire soon, 
and what I want is to make sure that uh, this file is not um, there so um, okay so hmm oh here it is here right yes this is a tab conversation here's the particular file I apologize for that let's see can I, can I delete there I can't delete there and okay well I don't like that I can't uh, very easily delete uh, this file for some reason but I bet I can if I and go here to the file so these are the files that exist inside this channel and let's see what I can do right here and there we go so I can move oh that's pretty neat I can move to another uh, channel perhaps yes okay what I want to do is delete so I got that one highlighted I can delete here and I confirm that and there you have it working with files um, Cisco Spark uh, and Microsoft Teams